Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we are going to be finding out if Arthur can save Mrs. Grimshaw, and what happens if he returns to check on her body if he decides to go for the money in the final mission of the game. So this is something that one of you guys actually recommended that I try. So far we've been getting a lot of experiments in the final mission of the game, which is cool because there's so many different elements to it. You know, depending on what you choose and what path you go down. And also if you just like sort of sit back and uh, maybe take a different look at things. And that's what we're going to be doing in this video today. So it all starts in this cutscene right here. After Arthur's final ride, he returns to camp where he greets and sort of notices that Micah is bossing everyone around. Get them bags packed up quick, Miss Grimshaw. Come on, all of you. Well, we're doing our best. Hurry, we ain't got long. Hurry. We just got plenty of time, Micah. Oh. We all need to have a little chat. Blacklong, you're back. Hooray. <coughs> I just saw Agent Milton, Dutch. Abigail shot him. She's okay. Not that you care too much about that. You rats. All of you. Seems old Mark it was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, cowpoke? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think of the future. Milton told me. <laughs> and you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No, it damn well doesn't. Dutch, think. Dutch, be practical now. Dutch! John! You left me! You left me to die! My boy, I didn't have a choice. John, I didn't... You! I didn't have a choice. Left me! All of you, you pick your side now because this is over. All oh, them years, Dutch, for this snake. <laughs> oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No, you be quiet, Mr. Bell, and put down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming, fast! Now! Who amongst you is with me? And who is betraying me? Well, I'm here. Think. Think for yourself. He's lying. He's lying! Put your guns down! God damn it! Move! You ready, John? Yeah. Okay, so as you guys saw there, Miss Grimshaw was shot by Micah, like in the most cowardly way possible. So what I wanted to see is instead of fighting off the Pinkertons, could you go check on Mrs. Grimshaw? Well, number one, her body is still there. And number two, you have the option to loot her. That's it, you can't pick her up, you can only loot her. However, because there are so many Pinkertons, I wasn't able to fully loot her or even really get over to her body without getting shot. Now, one thing I didn't try, which I might have to do in a future video or at least try on my own is maybe if I decided to use cheats during this to give myself more health, could I actually loot Susan and could I actually get stuff off of her body? Maybe, but I was never able to get close enough. And even in the times when I restarted, even just trying to get close to Miss Grimshaw, I would get swarmed by the Pinkertons. So I tried a couple of different variations of this, like trying to shoot some of the Pinkertons first and then going over to see if we could help Miss Grimshaw. Nothing worked. Like I would get shot ultra uh, quick, sort of like suspiciously quick, like Rockstar didn't want us going over and checking on poor Susan. So that's kind of interesting right there. Again, I really didn't expect that to happen at all. Number one, to be able to loot her, and also number two, uh, to get shot by the Pinkertons so quickly. But we can confirm that her body is still there. 
at least when we are going into the caves. So now that you know that, John and Arthur obviously make their way through the caves and they eventually have to go out the back and sort of escape through a little ladder and an opening at the top. And this is what happens when they reach the top. <sighs> Abigail, Abigail's safe. So's Jack. Where are they? It was Sadie. The Copperhead landed. Thank you, brother. I want you to not look back. Like I said. All right, so as you guys know, this is where Arthur and John sort of are on their own. They were on their own fighting off the Pinkertons, but now they're really on their own. They're being chased by Dutch and Micah. And uh, what happens next is essentially Arthur and John have to sort of make their grand escape. And this is where Arthur has to make a decision, whether he's going to stay with John or go for the money. And in order to test out what we're going to test today, you need to go for the money. Come on, Arthur. Yeah, let's go. Well, what about the money? Abigail gave me the key. I head down there, I'm dead in five minutes. I got a family. That's more important. Uh, maybe you're right, but... Uh, you want the money? You head down. I gotta go to my family. I'll see you around, John Marston. Be safe. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna flash forward a little bit and we've reached the point where basically we have returned to Beaver Hollow and everything has been lit on fire. And I don't know how this happened. I don't know if the Pinkertons did this or if they shot like a lantern and it ignited everything. And the first thing I immediately wanted to do was look for Miss Grimshaw. However, her body was not there. You guys clearly saw when we were fighting off the Pinkertons that her body was there. So what happened to it? Is this just simply an oversight from Rockstar? Did the Pinkertons ultimately move her body to another area? I think those are the two best theories there, but I could not find her. I looked up and down all over this camp and I was unable to find the body of Susan Grimshaw. So that's a little bit disappointing. I want to say it's an oversight from Rockstar because you wouldn't think the Pinkertons would care too much. Number one, about not one of their main targets, which was, you know, any of the men in the Vanderlyn gang. But also number two, you know, why in the middle of chasing these two outlaws would they go out of their way to move the body just to get it out of safety? I mean, maybe they were being generous because they did burn the place and maybe they didn't want to burn her body. So that is something to consider right there. Now, we know with 100% certainty that her body was not buried and that she is still somewhere around this camp. This is actually confirmed in the first mission of Epilogue Part 2, where John actually goes to San Denis with Uncle to find Charles Smith. And Charles Smith basically confirms that he was able to find Miss Grimshaw's body and that he buried her. This way. Uh. My bag's on the dock side. So, what happened? You mean back then? Uh, Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You, you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. Pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm 
bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. So as you guys heard from Charles there, her body is still there, it just simply can't be found. And that's disappointing because, number one, I really wanted to see what Miss Grimshaw had on her. Maybe she had a note or a letter or just something cool or interesting. And number two, it would have been cool to see if we could maybe have one last interaction with her. Because we saw Micah shot her, but she sort of got like shot in the, the torso or the stomach. It obviously wasn't something super fatal, like a headshot or anything like that. So maybe I was thinking she might still be alive, but uh, it turns out that that's not the case. Uh, and then of course, as you guys know, we can actually find Miss Grimshaw's grave. She's buried really close to Annisburg, which is sort of close to Beaver Hollow. She's on the top of a hill here, and you can actually go visit her grave as John. And we know that about you know, seven or eight years has elapsed from when the end of Beaver Hollow occurred and when John can go view the actual grave. So in my opinion, I think the two most likely theories is that A, Rockstar just sort of forgot about this. They thought it was an oversight. Or maybe they thought you wouldn't necessarily focus on Miss Grimshaw's body in the final mission of the game. You'd be focused on finding Micah and Dutch, returning for the money. Uh, or number two, the Pinkertons safely moved her away. It just seems a little bit far-fetched. And of course, we know at the end of the day, uh, she was eventually buried by Charles Smith. So I thought this was a fun little experiment. Definitely interesting, to say the least. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below, though. Let me know what you think happened to Miss Grimshaw after that first cutscene. And what do you think she has on her body? Do you think it's some special note or a document? Or do you think it's just random loot or provisions? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.